Hello, I'm John Nightingale, a director at JCT and the symposium host. Now the 25th JCT Traffic Signal Symposium was an online event this year and I'm delighted to bring you a recording of one of the presentations. Now these recordings would not have been possible without the support of a select group of our event partners. So our thanks go to the Institute of Highway Engineers, ITS UK, keepadistance.co.uk, Siemens Mobility, TWM, and of course, our media partner, Highways News. Please check out their short videos, which will tell you about some of the products and services that they can provide. Now, I hope you enjoy this presentation, and we would love to see you in person for our 25th anniversary event in Nottingham Trent University in September 2021. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Thanks, John. Um, I'll uh, straight away jump into the presentation. We have um, 15, 20 minutes left. So uh, I'll, uh, Hannah will give a quick introduction about the project and what we are trying to do and how it relates to um, TFGM strategic objectives. And then I will take a quick, quick whistle stop tour for through the project, including the software. Hannah, over to you. Thank you. So I'm just going to quickly talk about um, how we're currently managing our transport network at TFGM. So we've got over 2,500 sets of traffic signals in Greater Manchester and about a thousand of those are on the UTC system. So we're responsible for ensuring we've got a safe and efficient transport network. So we utilise an existing data sets. We've got an extensive network of journey time sensors. Um, also using video analytics sensors, ATCs and Google and Waze data. Traffic management tools include the UTC system and um, common database and integrated tools. Also analysing data, so um, this is done operationally but also for strategic planning. In terms of how we're looking to improve uh, our traffic management systems, as part of the project, um, with TRL, we're exploring open standards. So this makes extraction of data and integration of data easier, allows us to combine data sets in more intelligent ways. To focus on interoperability, we're also looking to deliver innovation, not just through new technology and new systems, but also making the best of what we've got. We want a multimodal approach as well. So we're um, looking to integrate cycle and walking data and also looking towards the future for a, a test bed of future technology. Could you? Yeah. Um, so project background and objectives. It was a DFT funded project as part of um, the competition for opening local authority transport data. So DFT have identified that there's a number of high value data sources that weren't being made uh, use of. So, if we were to look to make better use of those data sources, it would promote innovation and help uh, transport authorities um, with their network management. So TFGM open data offering, um, we've got a current open data portal and as part of the project, we wanted to work internally and with data users to look at gaps and explore how we could make um, better use of data within the portal. For us though, the focus was on opening uh, UTC data. There's a wealth of data within the UTC system and we wanted to make better use of that. So there was an opportunity to work with TRL and as part of the project, we, there was a proof of concept and we deployed TRL's uh, UTC scoop system in an area in Greater Manchester with the aim of extracting scoop UTC messages. Hugo, could you do it? Yeah. Um, so the benefits for TFGM, um, so we're, we're addressing our transport challenges, so congestion, which in turn leads to uh, poor air quality, looking at uh, more sustainable modes and encouraging cycling and walking. We want to improve customer journeys, so looking at how we can provide more customer information and um, improve customer journey experience as well. We've got limited budgets and resources, so we need to make the most of what we've got and exploit the assets. So this links back to UTC and utilising the data within the UTC database. Um, aligning to connected vehicle projects, so we're currently working with 
Amy on a project that they're leading for Highways England, looking at Offset Gosa with the trial location. And we want to move this forward and look at how we can utilize Amy's system uh, in the live TRL deployment using the cooperative messages. This all helps us prepare our systems for future connected vehicle integration. So this, these benefits and this approach helps us uh, drive TFGM strategic goals and the projects helped us achieve transport innovation through improved access to better data. And I'm going to pass you over to Subu who's going to talk about more um, about the product and what we did in the project. So thank you, Hannah, and uh, I'll take next uh, five, 10 minutes just to talk about the product, what we have used in, in TFGM and how it uh, helped uh, TFGM achieve some of the key objective that was expected out of the product of this project. So uh, as Hannah said, uh, we have deployed and uh, implemented uh, TRL's UTC powered by Scoot 7 in, a, in an area in, in Manchester. And uh, before I get into the project, it is important to understand uh, what are the key, key principles or the drivers behind the product. So the product was launched earlier this year, but was on um, running in Manchester since last November. So what you're seeing on, on the screen are the top five or the five key principles for our UTC. First one is reduced total cost of ownership. Second is reduced vendor locking, uh, delivering automation improved traffic management, open systems, and open data. Now, these, these are the five key principles that is driving the product roadmap, product design, technology choices, partnerships, everything that we do. Now, um, again, this is not something that we have come up with. This is what we have heard from our customers, you know, what they have been telling us, uh, including in-depth uh, market analysis and studies. So in terms of when I say reduced total cost of ownership, this is simply a, a, what it means is the solution that we are trying, uh, we are bringing to the market is, uh, is not a legacy system. It is uh, running on the latest cloud technologies, architectures, is multi-tenanted solution and uh, multi-tenanted cloud native and mobile first solution. And keeping always the cost Total uh, trying to keep the total cost of ownership low for the end customer. Uh, delivering, reducing vendor lock-in essentially means to give uh, the power back to the user to have a more dynamic supply chain. Delivering automation is again something that we have heard from the customers, which is uh, it, how do you reduce the dependency on expert, scoop, or traffic engineers to operate the solution. So the system is designed to be very user-friendly, simple, and um, uh, much more intuitive than anything that is in, in, uh, in the market. Like no, there may be, uh, you, you, you need expertise in de deploying the solution, but for operating, uh, very little um, intervention is required unless you are looking at a large uh, network. Um, sorry, I need just a second. Um, so uh, just a quick uh, glimpse into the product uh, or how it looks like and, and uh, what, uh, what, what it is. So what, what, what you're seeing uh, on the screen is the live, um, not the live, but the existing uh, de solution deployed in, in TFGM. This is not a, not a wireframe or, or, or an animation or anything real live uh, solution. Uh, you can see the interface. Uh, within this presentation, it is difficult to give a full demonstration of the product, but if anybody, any of the audience is interested, please get in touch with us, with me or our sales team. We will be happy to um, sort of uh, give a customized demo for you. So the solution is, is, is simple, user-friendly, and is working right now. What you're seeing is one uh, different areas of the product. Well, this is about how do you create uh, timetables, edit, manage. It is it doesn't get simpler than this. It is based on uh, something that you have seen already, Outlook, uh, similar to what um, how Outlook works and behaves. Um, so I'm, this, again, this is not about demonstrating what is uh, UTC. Uh, so I'm just going back to the uh, presentation. Somehow my mouse has, uh, that is, 
uh, just give me a second. So that, that's just a, a quick uh, glimpse into how the software looks and feels and how is it working in, in TFGM. Uh, but the, the purpose of uh, the core function of the software is to de uh, deliver improved uh, traffic management. So within here, we have delivering latest uh, SCOOT 7, which is a robust evidence-based and proven as a service, which and in, uh, SCOOT 7 inclu in, includes, as you most of you know, new detection interface for non-loop data, pedestrian SCOOT, cooperative signals data, uh, ranging from X40 to 58 range of messages, generalized recovery, bus priority, manual triggering of gating action, et cetera. So, so a lot more uh, improvements uh, from uh, the last uh, SCOOT which was released. But this project is around the last point, uh, which is about open systems and open data. How do we deliver that? That's the question. So uh, what we what we do is, uh, apart from uh, a lot of the features that is already available in the product for traffic traffic management, uh, st strategy manager, optimization, um, and different uh, priorities that users can choose, we are also giving an added feature uh, for the first time called the Open Data Developer Portal. So this is an extension of the product where the existing uh, data from um, Scoot is published um, for third party consumption. So it is more about publishing data rather than receiving right now. But the whole uh, uh, product is uh, based on microservices architecture, cloud native solution. So at some point of time, we can receive data also. And there is no new names or new, 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 new standards here uh, for publishing this. Is a, this is based on industry standard practices adopted in the IT industry about um, and, and what, what data are, are we getting from this developer portal? There are three categories of uh, data. One is your net network information, junctions, node, links, real names, and the network hierarchy that is available through the portal. Uh, second is historic scoot messages, or what we call as the, the new usable asterisk. So you can query, you can run queries for past um, data that, that is already captured, like what Monday Monday morning peak or so last previous days data last two to three days data this can be extracted and 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 the more exciting one is the real time scoot messages for time sensitive data for example the X41 scoot messages which drives uh, glossa information so these are the three categories of information and in terms of uh, what specific uh, this is what this information is. So you can expect, uh, we can get data for stops, delays, flow and queue length, details about the signal timings and how they have they been changing, scoot optimization decisions, bus priority decisions, and the cooperative data. So this is all available through the API, the, the development portal. Now, uh, X41 message or cooperative data is what uh, um, uh, is generating a lot more interest uh, these days. And uh, I think Mark asked this question earlier in the day. Uh, what uh, the X41 message produced uh, from Scoot, it gives predicted times plus lot tolerances since uh, Scoot may optimize between now and, and the change, yielding a more uh, optimum but different time. In terms of what the messages look like, it is very simple industry standard JSON format. Any, uh, any application or uh, third party developers can start using it. Now, uh, as of now, the, there are 13 organizations subscribing to the open data portal for data access and different applications, trials, and, and, and end users are testing and playing with the data for different purposes. Uh, I'm just um, showcasing two, uh, two such applications uh, here. One is the Glossa application, which um, I was talking about, which is uh, led by Amy. And uh, this application is essentially for uh, reducing um, air pollution by reducing the stops at uh, traffic signals, uh, particularly focusing on freight uh, movement. So uh, they are um, uh, consuming, I uh, will be using the X41 messages coming from uh, UTC uh, development portal. And um, it, this will be trialed 
in in a week at actual trial is going on uh, right now the next one is is uh, another interesting um, uh, work from chris kettle our chief technologist uh, which essentially uses um, it combines uh, this is more about integrating data from different sources it combines ways real time data from the connected citizens program provided by tfgm uh, with this is combined again with he high resolution midas data set and few other data sets and then uh, also combined with the historic um, real time and uh, real time the historic data from our developer portal and then is used to produce uh, uh, real time predictive models with a 30 minute 30 minute um, predict ahead capability for predicting traffic jam so what you are seeing is is a, a, a real um, analysis and output of where traffic jams are, were predicted using uh, this method uh, the the scoot api or the developer portal only gives one set of information uh, but this is more about showing how this can be combined with different data sources for different different applications sorry so that that was some examples of uh, the, those were the two 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 projects or two use cases that was uh, there one was glossa from um, from amy glossa application another from an internal uh, prediction application for traffic jams now in in terms of the benefits uh, for this project there are what we have realized is we have enabled the new data sets improved uh, data insights and helped develop new data applications all back of um, on all on back of uh, uh, having an open um, developer portal uh, which uh, any third party can start accessing and using now in so in uh, the summary of uh, this is um, open systems were like uh, um, utc we are trying to break the links to proprietary hardware and software so why we call it open system is utc will work with any hand standard hardware following industry specification any cloud solutions and it it really mean uh, sort of means more savings and innovation for end users open open systems and open data is also required to get to the next stage of developing more uh, active travel and micro mobility based applications um as we go ahead we believe the commoditization of technology like open systems cloud technologies mobility 5g will continue to reduce cost uh, but the key is uh, collaboration between industry the clients and customers is critical uh, to drive value and and finally this is something that we believe on if you if you want to disrupt an industry that has not really changed we have to start with data and that's what we are trying to do here and this data is not just publish the data they will come it is based on customer needs and motivation and data targeted at specific problems where third party users can create tailored offerings we are not trying to be the center of uh, everything we are providing a service which others can consume use build and add more uh, value so if there is if you need any more details please get in touch with us and that is uh, the summary of uh, this presentation